Being a music therapist at Tallahassee Memorial, we do serve a variety of populations in the medical setting, but music therapy is used in a variety of settings outside of the medical setting, everywhere from early intervention, hospice, the school environment, and today, as you're seeing, out in the community. So we tend to phrase that as music and wellness, so using music for the betterment of the community, of meeting the health needs of our community. We're here today at Neighborhood Medical. Um, we are partnering with them to provide music therapy services during vaccinations for the pediatric population. Now that the vaccine has been approved, we are happy to be providing procedural support just to decrease nerves and anxiety for the little ones coming into the clinic, but also for their parents as well, because we know this can be a very nerve-wracking experience for the caregivers of those that are coming in today. We've been here since day one, since vaccines have been available, to meet people where they are. So today we're here with, in partnership with TMH and FSU, um, the music therapy department at TMH, and making sure that we are here to provide support to parents and children as they get their vaccine. Talk to them, talk about what's going to happen, make sure that they understand that this is no different than any other vaccine that you have, but this impact is so much greater. When you walk in that room and you see that the way those kids are responding to the music, they're not even thinking about the vaccine. So this is definitely something that will benefit them and make them at ease when it comes to getting any other vaccine. Using music therapy in this setting serves in a number of different ways. Um, we like to call it music alternate engagement. So we're engaging in something else rather than the focus that's bringing the stress, which is the anticipation of receiving a shot. Um, some of the little ones we've worked with today know that they're coming in for a shot, some of them don't. So it's also using music as coping. So we do music assisted breathing. So we might do a song that incorporates numbers to kind of count down, incorporate some of that breathing. That for little ones, that breathing helps just kind of calm them down, stay centered, to be able to get the shot with lower anxiety and stress. Even though from the outsider perspective, it just kind of looks like we might be playing, but what we're doing is very purposeful um, to engage the little one to be able to best prepare them for what they're about to experience. This is a great opportunity because we get to take advantage of our partnership with TMH and allow our students some training that is still in the medical arena but is outside of your typical medical setting. So we're doing a little bit more in a, almost like a public health approach today by providing a way to make it a little less anxiety provoking, a little less stressful. We can really go in and serve a community in a way that makes this healthcare experience a positive one. And then particularly for children, that's important because we want them to continue to get healthcare across the lifespan. So we want them to get the rest of their vaccinations or just to see the doctor on a regular basis. And this helps reduce some of that anxiety that might be associated with going to the doctor so that future experiences are positive. As music therapists, we do receive training on just meeting everyone where they're at from a developmental standpoint. As a music therapist, it's very, very special to just be able to meet with babies and those that are elderly and just be able to meet them where they are and meet their need at that time.